All right, today I'm going to attempt to show you how I make my chocolate ice cream. I like to use the Ghirardelli 100% unsweetened cocoa. I find it to be the nicest. I also like to use Land of Lakes. Anything I can get my hands on, Land of Lakes. I'm plugging you, so send me some money. I use the half and half. I also like to use Land of Lakes eggs. Try to get my egg yolks. I'll also be using some heavy whipping cream. What I don't have out here, what we also use is one cup of whole milk. What I like to do is start out the pan first. We're going to heat this up, and this has everything in it. It has the three cups of half and half. It's got that one cup of heavy cream. It's going to have 1.5 ounces of cocoa. And it's going to have one cup of whole milk. I like Brahms. They don't use the hormones. So we're going to warm that up. I usually like starting around 5 because it's a lot of liquid. And you'll be there all day if you don't. And then, since you've sifted this, that's whenever I would take it, add it to the pan, and mix it up a little bit. So let's do that. I don't use any semi-sweet because I find it makes it too, too chocolatey. I want it to taste more like uh, Bluebell's Dutch chocolate. Bluebell's Dutch chocolate to me is chocolate ice cream. And I like to use this recipe because I think it makes it just a little bit better. It's more, more velvety than uh, Bluebell's, but it just has a great Ghirardelli chocolate flavor. It just is really, really good. So as we let this warm up, you need to make sure you get it good and mixed up. It's a little bit tougher in the beginning until it starts warming up to get the uh, chocolate to start melting into the, the mixture. But we're basically making a custard. So we're going to heat this up. Like I said, medium. I might bump it up here in a second to six, six, seven, somewhere around there. But I'm going to come back to this, which is the eight egg yolks. We had eight egg yolks and one cup of sugar. I'm going to take that put that into our mixer and mix that up. Alright, so I start this slower in the beginning and I let it pick up and honestly I spin this for a good little while. Once I get a good consistency I just leave it going. I speed it up a little bit and it picks up everything. I don't have to get a spatula and clean up the sides. It gets itself. But the egg yolks mixing with the uh, sugar is going to make a really nice, good looking, thick mixture to add to our custard. I'll show you that here in a second. I'm going to turn it up really good now. Make sure you keep an eye over here. You don't want to overdo your chocolate. Good. What we're going to do is once we get this heated and this into a nice little cream, we're going to slowly add this in the beginning. And I mean extremely slowly. Since you have the egg yolks in there, you'll have scrambled eggs if you don't. And you just literally add maybe a quarter of a cup in the beginning. Let it mix real good and then another quarter of a cup. And once it starts sloshing, then you can go ahead and pretty much add it all. But you need to make sure that you add it slow in the beginning. I'll keep this slow moving while it's heated, but if you can see that, that's the consistency you're more looking for. It'll smooth out even more sitting there. It's got a great color. It's really, it's really a, a nice color. Eggshell white. It's really pretty. 
put that back on a low setting. Let it keep mixing while we heat this up. Well, once we get to our next step, I'll cut back to another seam. Okay, now we're pretty much ready for our next step. It took about, oh, 10, 12 minutes. I like to try to do it as slow as I possibly can. I'm constantly stirring this and bumping it up from about half power all the way up to a little past eight, actually. I've got a little past eight right now. And you might can hear the KitchenAid's still mixing. I'm still on slow setting. I'm mixing the yolks and the sugar. It's getting really, really thick and pretty over there. Now, some people might say that's not the right way to do it. Come try the ice cream first. Never claim to be the expert. I'm just showing you what I found that works for me. And I think it's delicious. This is starting to get a simmer. That's what we're looking for, not a boil. And we want to catch it pretty quick as it starts to simmer. And that's why I started the video right as it was doing it, so that I could see it. What we're going to do now is, like I said, we're going to have to be slow with this step. So I have this right here. We'll pour a little bit of this into there so that we can uh, manage how much we actually mix into our kitchen. There's another plug. So we're getting close. It's looking really good. The other thing is, when you first put everything together, it's clumpy. You're like, oh no, it's going to take forever. As it heats up, everything turns homogenous. It looks really good. It smells delicious in the house. It smells like hot chocolate. It's awesome. You can't wait for it to cool down. can't believe it took 10 minutes to warm this up. It's as hot as it's been. But all right, we're here. All right, so here we go. I wanted to avoid the messy part. And that's pouring a little bit into this two cup Pyrex jar so that we can slowly add it here to our mixer. So let's, let's do that now. I'm going to try to see if I can let you see how slowly I'm trying to get this in here. Don't worry, if you do get a little bit of uh, scrambled eggs, as I call it, I strain. I even strain from here to here with a strainer, and I'll show you the second step where most people just strain the one time. But the more you strain, all you're doing is making it more velvety, just making it taste more creamy. It's just delicious. We're just going to keep slowly adding it. Until it gets real sloshy, even now it's, it's still thick. But once it starts sloshing, you can pretty much be as liberal as you want to with it. And you can't go too slow. That's all I've got to say. You can go way too fast. And you can go fast. And that'll mess it up. But you can't go too slow. And the other good thing is, since I've used many other people's recipes and tried and tweaked it, this actually makes a little bit more than one and a half quarts. So if you have a one and a half quart Cusinart like I do, ice cream maker, you can have a little room to fudge here and there because you'll be able to have more at the end. And if you lose a little bit, then you'll be quite right where you need to be. All right, it's looking good now. It's looking like a custard. Get in there, get chocolate in there. Just add a little bit more. Always stir it before you do any transfer. If you haven't noticed, I'm working on this nice little kind of scary looking, it's a bunch of skulls here. Got it for my birthday. Thanks, Mom. Really appreciate it. Looks awesome to me. 
Oh, I don't mind. I don't see that one place on the Oh, well. Yeah, I'm just mixing it all up now. I'm going to get good and homogenous again. I'm going to rinse out the uh, bowl that we're about to put back over here. And we got to heat that back up to 170, but that's what we'll do next. All right, moving into the home stretch. Been mixing this while I cleaned this again. I'm a neat freak. I'm a clean freak, dermaphobe. I want everything to be done for me the way I'd want it done. Somebody was cooking for me. So if I'm making you something, you're going to get it the way I cook it. This has been good mixed. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. Once again, now you got a better look at this nice little place, Matt. Take this off, get it out of our way. It's nice and warm. Out. All right. Now we're going to take this, move it over here, and notice I'm going to sift it. I'm going to try to just adjust just a little bit since more of the attention is going to be over here now. All right. So let's take this off. Amen. Take this off. Let's drain it. See what we got. see no scrambled eggs. Absolutely none. That's nice. It's impressive for me. I like scrambled eggs. Alright, so now, this right here is a nice little toy to have. I like to use it for this because our last move is to make this register 170. So we're going to turn that back up, let it get it to 170. We're going to take and put it into this bowl right here to cool. You don't want you want to stop the cooking process right there. You want to get it to the 170, stop the cooking process, put it in your uh, Pyrex jar, and then once it's cooled, it takes me. They told me before 30 minutes. Nah, it takes me like two to three hours to get it to cool. Then you put it in the refrigerator. Uh, some people say eight hours. I just do it overnight, man. You do it overnight, you can't fail. It makes it really good. Keeps it nice and cold. But uh, we'll come back here in just a second and show you the last steps. All right, last step. We've reached 170. So we can take this guy off. Set it to the side. It's nice. Looks pretty, as it usually does, except for my first few times. Nobody's perfect. I once again go ahead and uh, I strain it. Strain it into what we're going to stop the cooking process in. So, let's strain again. Cut that close. Cut that real close. There you have it. You need to add us in some pure vanilla extract. I'm going to put in two teaspoons. Look at there. Got a brand new one. As I said, I'm a neat freak, so I'm not going to pick that up. That's why you have more than one. Two teaspoons, and we're going to put some halves. One. There's one whole, one and a half, and two. Nice. All right, we're going to stir that up, and we'll just put some uh, saran wrap on top. I think there's a nice lady on the internet that introduced that to me. Just going to put some saran wrap on top once we get this nice and mixed in there. And once again, this makes a little bit more than what you'd need for what I have here, this Cuisinart. This is a one and a half quart. It's great though. You, have to, you don't have to use any ice. There's no, absolutely no uh, salt rot. So I mean, I mean, it's just great. You just have to freeze the, the bucket overnight for a good 24 hours and put it in there. Let it go for 15 to 20 minutes. I found 18 to be pretty nice. 
and then uh, have you some containers. I usually like to use small containers or one good plastic ones. This is really only good, I've heard, for seven to ten days since we're using eggs. So uh, you really need to get to it. So that's good. It's only one and a half quarts. But uh, I love the Cuisinart. It makes good ice cream. You don't have to have much mess. And uh, it tastes delicious. It really is. This is really good. Uh, if you try it, hit me back. Let me know how it goes. If you've tweaked it and you found something you like more, I'd like to know that too. I'm, I'm, never, I'm never willing to stop. I want to keep going and make it the best. So if you think you found something to make it better, let me know. And we'll let this sit and cool for, like I said, two to three hours. But make sure you put a little bit of saran wrap over it once it starts cooling down. And then when you put it in the refrigerator, it helps out. And uh, if you have any other questions, make sure you leave some comments. Thank you very much. My name is Joe Rollins, and this is how I make chocolate ice cream.